Hello, I'd like to open up. Go back to Mario Sunshine. One, one, two, three. Three, two, one. One, two, three. A, B, C. There we go. A little bit of an issue starting it up. It might actually be running at 50 hertz instead of 60 hertz because uh, it asks you at the beginning and I might not have selected that option. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. Today we're going to see if we can go and unlock Yoshi, which requires us to get a couple of... Uh, um, it requires us to get a couple of Shine Sprites in Peanut Park. A lot of unlocking in this game is not star-related, which is interesting, to say the least. It starts with four lives, so I guess it does or doesn't... Ah, I'll just pick up this one up mushroom regardless. Not that I need it. I mean, the Sandbird's already done. So there's only a few more stars that are possibly going to kill me. Oh, come on. I remember that you could wall jump out of the water, but... Oh! Fine, we'll just do it your way, Mario. I always like his insightful commentary. Such as... Blah, 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 blah. I mean, how much more insightful than that can you get? Ah, I'm sounding so sour. Wearing a fresh new shirt, though. And when you wear a fresh new shirt, how can you be upset? I should really consider turning down some of the brightness settings on this TV because boom, everything's so bright. So these purple ones will follow you around for a bit. Uh, there's also gold ones, which will explode into lots of money. Why would they make him hurt you if he just... Oh. I like how the cannon barrels go away. <laughs> I can we invite you to come on in! Uh. So yeah, this is how people come to this island, I guess. Despite the fact that it's not motorized at all, it's just the thing. I do like how that guy's text changes. Park closed due to the fact that everyone is dying. Congratulations on your safety precautions. I wonder what the flowers have to say about this. Insightful. I like how you can see it, right? Also, I love this little staircase that's on it. You can be like... Anyway, it's another Mario stage, where Mario has to rely on his skills, his cunning, his wit, his moustache as a parachute. We're not gonna get a preview, we're gonna go straight to the action. These are vanishing blocks. Can you imagine what vanishing blocks do? I can't. It's just a bridge too far for little old me. Oh my, I wonder what these vanishing blocks are up to. So over here is something we don't see a lot in this game, but they are in s they are significant. These are spawn points for these little doodad guys. I don't know why they exist at all, but there they are. Oh, and we finally get this. Um, quick notice, trampoline physics are kind of annoying because Mario moves very slowly side to side, but he moves very quickly backwards and forwards. So here we are with our first little test of skill and wit and cunning and bravery. You primarily just want to do this. There we go. That's 
took only a second or two. And now we gotta go straight back to get the red coin star. Red coin star! He's just a red coin star. Flying from near and far. Good job. Ah, two red coin missions in succession. Yeah, this is a kind of the point where I'm gonna have to say yes to some extent. You do kind of get a lot of red coin missions. We'll be there in a second. Mario is surprisingly fast for a plumber. Too bad the coins are gonna last for like a second. Uh, we fight this guy again in a later level. Not right now, though, but he does come back. He makes a heroic return. Uh, I don't like this one. But thanks to Flood... Oh, quick thing! Most of these levels do not contain water, so if you run out, you run out. That could have been prevented by me just holding down the trigger. You know, until I feel the click, but I didn't feel like feeling the click. Today was not a clicking day. Thank you. I very much appreciate the input. Wow! Really? I really don't have that timing down, do I? Ugh. Then again, most of the time we just run over anyway. You don't really care too much about staying on the same platform for too long. I do like how it doesn't deduct your life until it's like, yeah, you need this, you need the life deducted. I don't know where the rest of the coins are, though. Such a piece of cake with the water slide. Though, because the water slide technically kills you at the end of it... Might not be a great idea. I don't think this game, unlike Mario 64, actually has any intermediate shine sprites you can pick up, and then you can continue with the level. It's always you pick up a shine sprite, you gotta go through. Which is annoying, because Super Mario 64's ability to pick up a star and then just go back to the level was pretty damn useful. Especially since it meant you didn't start over at the castle whenever you got one of Toad's stars. Anyway, I think it's alternating level inside, level outside with this area. No, 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 it's alternating day and night in Pinta Village. I got my things mixed up again. Anyway, last time we were in the park, we didn't actually do all that much. We just sort of appeared at the park. I also don't think that the intro screen ever shows you the inside of the park due to limitations. I don't know what limitation, because... I don't know. It, there, this could have easily just been one level, but maybe they reached the polygon limit and they had to split it up at the last moment. So yeah, now we get to see the park in all of its glory, because we actually have to go to a lot of places to pick up all the star red coins. Which is kind of interesting. So this is how they work. Uh, these ships, you may have seen them before, actually make a full loop after a certain amount of rotations. They pick up speed as they go, then they make a full loop, and then they sort of calm back down. I love doing that stupid trick, because it gives Mario so many stars. Oh, I can't seem to move. Good job, Mario. Would you please hold R until you feel the click? Ah. Oh. I think Mario sure felt the click that time. But there's another way to get them. It's a little bit easier. Technically, it's easier? I don't know if it's easier easier. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it as a technique to get it, but... You can just get up here. 
and just pick up the coins while you're up here. Uh, any red coins, like, up here, up here? Because I can't see. It's just too much color. There literally is so much color, I can't properly see the game world. Um... You know, the reason I want to do this is I want to get to Siana Beach and do the most creepy mission of them all that kind of made me poop myself, because it's spooky. Oh, look at that pretty bird. That's a really nicely modeled bird, if I do say so myself. After all, I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. I love saying that, because it's so quick, so snappy, so to the point. So, I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Are you a photographic genius if you do this for yourself? I always like this little bit of grading. I don't know what it is. It's just, it, it feels very fun to climb on. Possibly because Mario can run like a madman upstairs. To Mario, a good battle is an uphill battle. For some reason, your backflip doesn't accommodate that, but... Again, this doesn't really feel like Flood was taken into consideration during development. Oh. <clears throat> and that's that. See, easy as pie. We are flying through these stars, sprites. I keep calling them stars because that's technically what they are. Calling them shine sprites is purely a contextual lore thing. Kind of like if if you made another if if Bloodborne has like blood instead of souls, it's still souls. You can call a maggot all it is, but it still creepy crawls inside corpses at the end of the day. Because that's what maggots do. They eat dead flesh. By the way, if you find a maggot in your wound, leave it there. From what I heard, maggots only eat dead flesh, so they'll keep it all clean. It's spooky, but it could be worse. You could have bacteria eating away at your living flesh. Although maggots aren't exactly clean, so... You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to, to, to ask for a feasibility report and maybe... You know, get, get some people on that. You know, maybe get a doctor involved. I don't know. Okay, this is the star where you unlock Yoshi for one specific reason. Some characters mention that the Yoshis are scared away because of these giant eggs. Which makes no sense. We never see a Yoshi that isn't an egg. So what they scared away is the question. You're never gonna make doubloons like that with that attitude, I'll tell you that much. And these baskets, by the way, you're supposed to blow up with the, the uh, bullet bill attacks. But preferably the purple ones, which you can guide around a bit. So you notice that the sunflowers are like, man... They hatched, but they don't look hatched. Oh, I remember what you're supposed to do. I think that's so creepy. That they're like... Ugh. Well, we can't fight them. Mario's breakdance moves aren't enough to pick them up, so we're gonna have to do the only logical thing. Squirt them with water. Don't say that. Don't be like that. Dear sir. Ooh, must never get. So you can only stomp them into the ground where there's sand. Any other environment and they just sort of bounce off. I like getting them all in one spot so it's a super sunflowery patch. 
Yes, yes, you must never get. I don't know what you must never get, but... Do share. You see those little flowers? You can actually make them bloom. I remember there being a way... Yeah, that's probably the way to get more coins out of them. Hey, wake up! You fat fuck! Get out of there. Get over here! I really like that impact. It's really colorful. Oh, look at that sunflowery patch. Ah, they must never get... No! Omelette du Roma. Ah, so many sunflowers! That I agree to. I like it all actually aimed at the sun ish. Come on, you big beast. I wanna fight me some giant manta ray monsters. I always loved how the leaf on the right side is aimed up, so it looks like she's actually giving you something! <laughs> now maybe my pantalones will come back too. Yes, it is a beautiful sun. Well, well, no need to call me Monsieur. Look at how many sunflowers. They're really actually quite nice models, all things considered. Mario still looks a million times better right next to them, but... Ah, uh, there we go. <laughs> Save and continue. I think we're about to get the Yoshi uh, chase sequence. There we go. And because we're about to unlock Yoshi... Oh, first we're reminded, this is a Pinopla. Yoshis can eat Pinoplas. It also shows us the holograms because we can... I think we can start to unlock the uh, other nozzles for... Yeah, it's weird, isn't it, that in order to unlock the nozzles, you need to complete a very specific mission. And you kind of need them to beat certain levels, so it's... handled very poorly. Just so they can pull off a stupid lore trick. Anyway. Oh no! Oh, I hate it when he's immortal. No. No. No! Aww. If I can only get some bananas. Can I borrow these bananas, lady? I know that you will let me borrow those bananas. Yoshis are never green in this game, except when they die, which is a strange tidbit, and they also are not resistant to water, so they just kind of explode. If you run out of Yoshi, it will spawn on top of this particular... Yoshi actually have triple jump, I don't know why. They also have spin jumps, and they can squirt goop. Because, uh, someone had a holiday. Now we can unlock Sienna Beach, and then we can just forget about this Yoshi until I go for the secret stars. The mustache, man. How dare you call her by her first name? You should call her Princess Toadstool or something like that. Oh, right, fun fact, this has a really f funkadelic texture to it. I don't really like it. Now my nose! So itchy. Giant electric eel is what this level should be called. Mm. 
So the first thing I can tell you is that this area is actually modeled after a GameCube uh, controller. Yeah, the NGC controller. Here's a start button. There's the control stick. A B button. Although the B button isn't a pool for some reason. Uh, control stick and the C stick. Well, actually, the D-pad is improperly represented because the D-pad is also a cabana. A Copo cabana at that one. I think one of these actually has a one up in it somewhere. Give me your... Oh, I shouldn't waste them. Ah. Ah. I used to go out into the ocean, but you can't properly hit him from there. Also, this guy is somehow resistant to the sinking effects of goop. There's a small problem. This stuff is electric as it gets. So you better not touch it. Also, for whatever reason, actually cleaning this stuff doesn't cause it to go away. There's a hotel under this, but yeah. Oh man. Not your other pants! Everyone's so concerned about your pair of slacks. I don't know what it means. Ba -ba -ba! Spooky, scary monster that suddenly pops in a lot of goop. Boop. Possibly because of uh, the fence can't generate any goop on top of it. So as the person said, you can hide under this for some protection. But unfortunately for us, it doesn't actually protect us. We're well, not in the metaphysical sense of that we have infinite water. Ah! Oh yeah, it can still just follow us, apparently. So once you split this into just its tiniest components, this thing goes crazy. Now you can just run into the middle of the ocean and solve your problems from there. It's probably the only safe, safe place. I've noticed math is making them stronger! The math is making them unkillable. And now I'm stuck in electric goop. Electric goopaloo. They can't catch me up in this tree. Can they? They can't, can they? They can't, they can't. Oh, look at all the gloops. I wonder how many of them there are maximum. And by the way, the only reason they are just textures on the floor, or actually they're just discolorations on the floor, is probably so that they can have this many at once. And it is nearly unavoidable that this phase will be entered with lots of them at once. Eat water, goop! I know you're from the sea, but somehow water can hurt you when it comes from a pump.
You're crazy. I will try to fool you. Oh, I'm gonna have so much fun once we get into the hotel because it actually has a pretty cool little mission inside of it. Until then, might as well pick up our shined sprite. Whee! I want to say something awful, but I don't. I know it's a bad idea. Ugh. Fine, we'll do Nico Bay, just to get rid of it. So this is the entrance to the next, next level, Nico Bay! It is probably an homage to Nintendo, to the Mario 64 game. Where, for whatever reason, uh, you got the red cap by entering or looking into a light in the main hall. Really weird red switch, all things considered. Oh, it's Noki Bay. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh man, you have to understand, there is one shine sprite in this particular level that just freaks me out. Mmm, strawberry cream. So these things, I think, are their houses, which is super weird. Uh, don't just touch the water. The water is just death. Uh, there are some pools of clean water you can use, and there is a person with a boat there who I think will charge you a deliberately high amount of money. The water is clean closer to the coast, possibly so that you can dip into it and tank a bit. Ninety thousand coins for a mud boat. Oh. Aren't you a sad panda bit? Damn it. This was a horrible plan. But I attest that it was also a brilliant plan. It was a terror bad plan. Perhaps it wasn't even a plan at all. Perhaps I was just making up the fact that I was... Oh, look, we can look over there where there will be a star soon enough. Say this particular level has some really creative graffiti drawings. Just a sailboat and squids and dolphins. So these things you can actually squirt a whole bunch. And then they just violently explode into water. I don't know why those water pots are even there, because you can just do that.
Okay, so I guess we do get nozzles earlier. It's a rocket nozzle. Does that? But it has a few caveats into its functionality. And that if you are currently in water, it doesn't work as well. So when you do this, uh, here's the thing that I haven't shown you yet. You get this supersonic ground pot of doom, which can be used to break certain blocks. It's a pretty little flower up here. Supposed to use it to get up there. I always like this little cave. It felt so mysterious. You know. It's all filled with mystery and excitement. The first time I ever got this mission, by the way, something weird happened. I jumped forward and got struck by the uh, uncorked waterfall, which caused a lot of hacktic problems. I remember, we can actually get under here. And we can see these little bullet bills on the platform. Why are these here? I don't know. They're probably just here for the giggles. Do not ask me whose giggles, they're just there. And I always thought that was kind of interesting. Don't worry, the waterfall's a lot calmer next time. <laughs> this little fun factoid is an area that we go to later. And we can get up here right now, and I think you can actually just cheat your way up here with that very same method, but whatever. Let's take our shined sprite and have a sip. Mmm. Fresh, bright taste. Fresh, bright color. No artificial flavoring. We do, however, add 16 pounds of artificial coloring. I guess we're not getting any of the nozzles. It's just Yoshi. Well, we can do a couple of things with Yoshi. I do think there's actually a level related to Yoshi, which takes a while, and we're going to do right now. Because I want to get rid of it. I don't think it's actually a fun level, nor does it involve Yoshi. It's just sort of there. And yes, any and all rooftops will give Mario his rapid acceleration powers. We need a ban bunch of bananas. I am a fan of bananas. They're one of the few fruits I can tolerate. I'm not a very big fruit fan. I hate cellulose. I hate how it, it, it I hate the texture of it. Me and fruits do not go hand in hand. It is why I waged the fruit wars. Look how Mario can do that with carrying a goddamn fruit. He's it's just a miracle man. So the way to get this particular one is actually kind of annoying, kind of difficult, and mostly it's just waiting around. So every once in a while a little boat comes by this area, and Yoshi's like, man. And you're all like, man. Everyone's like, man. You get on the boat, you stand on the boat for a bit, you climb on a platform, and then you go on a platform. Of course, Yoshi can starve in the meantime, which is the problem of this area. And you can fall off the boat! And then Yoshi's also dead. Yoshi has problems staying alive. Oh! 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 What the, what the hell kind of boat is this anyway? Nobody is steering it. It just goes places. Note, the Durian Lady is in this segment. Uh, let me try to show this. There's actually a clear divide in Delfino Plaza, and the Durian Lady happens to be on the part that you can't get Durians to without having to kick it over the water. It's super annoying. 
Don't forget to use Yoshi's tongue every once in a while. So that all curiosity is sated. Oh, the graphics are so bad in this, but it might just be the screen. You are going where I need to go, right? Oh no, I think I go on the island, and from there I go to where I need to go. Because that, yeah. You can actually get some coconuts! To stuff Yoshi's gut, because... Jesus Christ. Even the wildlife must suffer from obesity, apparently. Oh man, social political commentary in a Mario game! Also, you can aim with Yoshi, which I never quite got. I never quite got that. Yoshi can also do a spin. I don't get why Yoshi can do the spray move, but I think it's because on Yoshi, you are you don't actually change. Mario is still Mario. It's just that the whole motion still works the same. It's just that a couple of functions have been altered. It might just be it at the... I like how Yoshi puts his little hands down. It's like, oh man. Look at my little Peter Patter, Peter Patter with the little bootsies. Wario would appreciate those kaboots. Now, for whatever reason, there's a bunch of bananas on that platform, which allows us to stay there until Yoshi feels nice and comfortable. Ah, what a lovely day. The sky is filled with nothing. Yoshi's stomach is slowly draining of gastric juices. And the world is filled with nothing. Not even sunshine can move. Well, actually, almost the entire place is lit up. Except for that guy's island. Although, at some point, this large sphere extends all over the place. Magically. <sighs> Hope we're almost on Banana Island, where bananas grow wildly. There it is. Oh, see, that's so many problems with this physics engine that all cause the jumping mechanics to feel off. And if you're not used to them, they are so weird at times. Now, I have played enough of this game to have it still in my muscle memory, but I always liked how the, how the C-Stick had this little bit of a, a thing attached to it. And that is a little rubbery nub on top of the plastic uh, shell. Possibly to make it more... There's all kinds of gunk in it. Ugh. I'm gonna clean this shit out with my uh, nail clipper. Because there's lots of gunk. I do not appreciate the gunk. The sooner we get on this boat, the sooner. Yeah! I took all the risks and I gained all. What? Why did he. I'm gonna stop the recording here for a minute. I just, I can't. I can't even. I can't even! I am just, why did that happen? Who did that? Did you do that? I'm so pissed off. Like, I didn't even press the jump button. I was fiddling around with the C-stick. That never ever happened to me before. Wow. What happened? I should look at the footage and see what actually happened. I want to stop the recording, but I know that I'm going to futz up the goddamn synchronization on the reboot, so... Like, there's no way to... You can't actually cop this out. You actually can cop this out. But I forgot that you can. You totally can. It just takes a bit of effort. It actually doesn't get you all that far. I like how you can do the flutter jump in that. It's so weird. You can go down this thing, and you can just walk over to the island, and I think it's the only one that's connected on this particular part of it. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Just next time I'm going to fiddle with my controller. Maybe my, my, my other fingers touched. Oh, goodness. This is Lady One, anyway. I assume she wants something stupid, like a pinopla. There are literally three coconuts hanging from this tree, lady. Like, if you just were to cut open this Yoshi, you'd have all the coconuts you wanted. Maybe you pressed X by accident. I could look at the footage, you know, instantaneously, but... 
Pictures taken instantaneously. Yeah, when I said this game has a couple of stars that are just, just bad, this is one of them because they could have cut this down to that one boat trip, maybe a second one, you know, do a drive-by boating, but no. It is so much longer than it has any reason to be. Just, just for shits and giggles. It's like, <laughs> you must go on the boat, and go on the boat. No. Just, I, I can't even. Like, how do you even explain this? Like, this is one of the stars that I didn't get in my original playthrough, because it's just a bullshit star. Oh, and if you game over, you actually have to go all the way back there. Because this game has lie. It's like, why does it have lives? There is no point in this game that the lives do anything practical but annoy you. Because most of the time, if there's a substage, you can go straight to the substage when you die. Like, they copied so many things from Super Mario 64, and they didn't get rid of lives. Because that was the one thing they thought needed to stay. Well, actually, they copied a lot of things Super Mario 64 they should have just cut out of it because of impracticality, but come on. Lives. This game doesn't even have a life form of any sorts. When you're out, you're out. Oh my god, I hate how the boats aren't synchronized. So Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, and a happy new fox. I do like Yoshi's design in this game, it's so adorable! It's all huggly and cuddly and wuggly, and all the glees in the gloop. And Yoshi fills itself with power of the ether when food is ate. This animation could have been done a lot better, by the way. Yoshi also has that super spray move, and I'll show you that when we get to the island. That part concerns me, because it implies... It just implies so much. I mean, if you hold R and you press A, it just goes... That's a very sharp turn for a boat. Episode is drastically made longer by Yoshi's butt. Ooh, look at that ass. Except the Yoshis don't have an ass, they probably have a cloaca. Just like birds do. At least they put all their stuff in a nice egg they can throw. You know, because every webcomic makes that joke. It's one of those required jokes that webcomics have. So you want to be a webcomic? That doesn't make any sense. But that, I think, is actually the gold bird, so we'll go for that in a moment, since it's apparently glitched out. That! Yoshi can do that, for no reason. It's as awful as you make it. Oh my job! But, but, uh, you can't. You can't. No. You can't. You fit. No. So this is instant death water, if I remember correctly. This is a leaf that will slowly vanish. Don't ask me about this level ever, ever, ever. I will murder you for asking me about this level. Just, it's so bad. It's. This level just fills me with angry babies. If that was a thing. Not to mention the fact you're expected to make slight alterations to Mario's course. And it won't go backwards! Why won't it go backwards? Why? 
what buffoon greenlit this level? Whoever hired him should be fired. Just, just, just to give a message to the rest of them. Oh. You gotta grab that one, but... Why put that at the end? You are literally making it so that the final few seconds are super important. Never do that with... Ugh, I just... These bonus levels are the worst levels in the game for that reason. Because it's just not made right. It just doesn't work like that. It, oh, no, great. I missed my... Oh, look. It just decides to glitch out because why not? Why, why would it not glitch out? Why would, why would it not? Just look at this. This stupid star. No, no. Where does this go? If this goes outside, I'm gonna shit a brick. Because that's not required. Why did you... What? Uh, I'm gonna show you something, because I am going to murder whoever made this level. I want to iterate two things before I go. Like, I said that the stupid level with the, the flippers is bad, and we're gonna get to that. You have an exit area button. Why does the pipe at the end of the level not go to the beginning of the level so I can try again? Why does it go... I think you can just exit the... I have to get Yoshi again. Sit on that boat and just bore my head off because someone couldn't be bothered to put in... Uh, just... They feel like an afterthought because of it. They drag down the quality of the entire game by feeling like levels that were stapled on by someone with a stapler. Like someone had a level and he was like, it's, it works, but we have to do A, B, C, and D in order for it to work. And they were like, no. No. Like, this is a fun star to get, although it goes a little bit out of place to make any sense. But you can't gimp this. It's not Yoshi related, and you can't gimp it. Because it's a physical object, and it will push it. <laughs> he is one of the people on the list of people that I would kill for the stupidity of their just. Super Mario 64 didn't have that. I can get all the stars in that game, and I did. And in, in the remake. And I don't get why they could make such bad levels. Also, each of those levels you can only reset by dying. And you have to because they're all one-shots. There's no margin of error in them. And it feels very weird. I just... I can't. I don't, I don't think you can defend them at all. Because they're out of context compared to every other level. Because they're just so bad. And they make you angry. And they're... They're just not, they don't make any sense. They're out of place, out of whack. They were pulled out of the ether somewhere. And then some guy with a stapler came by. And then that guy with a stapler didn't even think to make a goddamn... Just... Just... Again, the pipe isn't... Like, I'm not upset that they put in an exit pipe. I'm upset that they don't mark it as an exit pipe. From what any person can tell, it might as well just be a reset pipe. No. Just kill yourself because there is no other way. It's just... It is such a Kaizo thing to do. And that's what bothers me is that Nintendo doesn't make Kaizo stuff. Not intentionally. And when they do it, there's typically a way to gimp it. There's no way to gimp this. It's just difficult and the game doesn't give you any leeway. And it's also with one of the worst mechanics in the game, which, by the way, we'll be using for real inside Bianco Hill, because it's the thing you have to do for the 6 or 8 star. I'm annoyed now. I'm just nothing but annoyed, because... Ugh. You know, I would have actually been content with that. I would have thought that that star was perfectly fine if it was not in a pipe that takes several minutes to get to. If it was... If... 
that level over there and that level over there swapped, it would have been perfectly fine. Nobody would have complained because if you game over it, you could just go straight back. And then the easier level, it's just, ugh. Here's another thing that kind of shows you that there's something wrong in the development. Why are these here? There are bananas right over there, easier to get. And these are up here. I just... It, it, it feels like Dark Souls 2. Like, someone thought they knew, but they didn't at all. And they did it still, and they screwed up everything because of it. Because you can say, it's a nitpick, here's a big message for you. Video games are experiences. If anything about an experience is bad, it can contaminate the rest of it. What is with this guy? What are you going to tell me? Oh, I've... No, you, didn't, you don't have to tell me that. I like how that's your primary concern, not the fact that there are these mysterious boxes everywhere. Here's an interesting bit. You can't actually see the uh, the Galvin Gad mark on him, even as it's like I just don't know. I'm upset, and that's all I'm going to be. And I have a terrible mood now because of that. Actually, there is something I could do now. I know there's a lot of people who are going to give me a lot of flack for this one. But I'm gonna do it. Cause fuck him! And if any of you know what the alternate option is and why it's so bad, congratulations. You know what the Code Junkies website is. Also, I like how this is marked with a little mushroom on it. See you guys next time, possibly in a tiny midi video where I just say fuck it.